testing one two three this is Ashley Mahalan with another EP calc video first response 270 and it's a related rates problem what do you know the question says the amount of water in the storage tank in gallons is modeled by a continuous function on the time interval from zero to seven hours where T is known as hours and this model of rates is given as the following the first rate is when the water enters in the tank, f of t equals 100t squared times sine square root of t, counts per hour from 0 to 7. And the second rate is when the water leaves the tank, 250 from 0 to 3, and 2000 from 3 to 7. The graphs F and G, which intersect at T equals 1.617 and T equals 5.076, are shown in the figure above at the time T equals 0. The amount of water in the tank is, is 5,000 gallons. And let's go on with the questions. And there is the rates to help us with the first problem. And that's what I said before. The rates above in white and the yellow is where they intersect. So the first question is, how many gallons enter in the tank in the time interval 0 to 7? So, like, for this problem, you need to, um, do an integral from the limits from 0 to 7. And that's exactly, and that, and that's exactly how you find the first one from Integrals seven to zero. F of t, the water which enters in the tank. Don't forget your dx, and you put that in your calculator, and you get eight thousand two hundred sixty-four gallons of water, all total, which enters in the tank. On to the next question. And the next question says, for the, for zero to seven, find the time interval which the amount of water of the tank is decreasing. Give the reason for each answer. And here what I have highlighted there, the lines of f of x is in yellow and the g of x is in some kind of whitish yellow thing. And the and the shaded highlighted things are like the increasing rate and the decreasing rate. And the one I have in orange is the decreasing rate. And the one I have in pink is the increasing rate. So like I will get a different color. So you get a better idea of what I'm trying to point out, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking for these kind of things, and those things are like the decreasing rate. So the next question is, when is the water rate decreasing? And the hint is f of x of g and x. And see what I have there at the problem is written as so. So the rate of the water is decreasing from 0 t to 1.617 and 3. to 
5.076 because we all know it's like the decreasing and the answer to this thing is I don't have time to write this down but the water of the tank is decreasing let me highlight it again to like decreasing on the intervals 0 to 1.617 and 3 to 5.076 because F to T is less than F to G for the for the intervals given above. On to the next question. And I'm just going to write down that is already answered just for a little humor for people who don't like math but they do like humor. There you go. Here's your humor. And for the last one, it says for for 0 to 7, what time t is the amount of water in the in the tank greatest to the nearest gallon? Come here. With <coughs> bless Gazente for me. Come here with the amount of water at this time. Justify your answer. So the question is you got to find the maximum. Find all endpoints when 0 to 7 in functions of in t of f of t and g of t. So I have this little helpful handy dandy graph and I'm going to choose a different color. I hope you like pink. If not, get used to it. And I'm going to use a smaller font. So like zero is an endpoint and three is an endpoint because according to f of g and seven because and the thing is like one of the things they they put down on this question is that the graphs of f and g which intersect at the intersecting points I've shown you before at time zero the water of, amount of water in the tank is five thousand gallons so like that answers your first one there so it's five thousand gallons and I'm gonna apply that to the next one and you do the integration points there from three to zero f of t minus 250 times 3, and I don't have room to write this, so, like, you put that in your calculator, and you get that 5,126.591, and for, like, you insert that in your... in your next slot if you don't that's okay that's probably what I did and you use you guessed it integration f of uh, f of t and I will write to write this why do you think I've oh yeah I forgot that one too so um minus two thousand times four because what you probably gotten is I ha I hate having a small space, please forgive me. And that's what you probably already gotten for your one four thousand five hundred thirteen point eight zero seven. And we are looking for the um greatest value. So like this side would be number one, number two, and number three. So the highest had to be 
And you already guessed it from my work. It's 5,126.5, right there. 5,126.591, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to fill this last space here. The amount of water in the tank is the greatest at three hours. At the time, the amount of water in the tank rounded to the nearest gallon is 5,127 gallons. Thank you. I hope this was helpful. Please come check my other YouTube videos. If not, everybody else is much of a benefit as I am, so have a nice day.